Deke, did you find him? Yeah, Ricky, I found him. How is he? Well, let's just say that tomorrow he's gonna have one hell of a hangover. A hangover? Good. I'll remember that when I stop by to see him at six in the morning. Yeah, yeah, thank God. He deserves it. Deke, First I'm glad thing. he's okay. Hey, Ricky, I, uh, I got a favor to ask. Yeah, what's up, Deke? Um, it's about Boozer's arm. Uh, I saw that hook that you made for him, and, uh, it's great, but, uh, don't you think it might be better if, instead of a hook, I don't know, maybe with something like a knife or a blade or something, you know? Oh, uh, oh hold on. Oh, please, thank you. So, oh. if it oh, I'm sorry about that. So, uh... You, you want me to, you want me to create a prosthetic blade for Boozer? Well, yeah, I just thought I might cheer him up, make him feel, you know, more of a... You want me to weaponize Boozer? I wouldn't put it that way. I'm just fucking with you, Deke. I think uh, it's a great idea. Uh, I will go check some parts, and I will radio what I need. Cool? Okay. Okay. for ourselves and our families. I'm not saying this. It's the Lord that gave us dominion over it. But that wasn't enough for some men. They wanted more. When our fuel got low, they jacked up the prices so they could consolidate power into their own hands. So, we wanted to build dams for electricity. But their precious runs of salmon were more important than heating our homes. We wanted to cut a few trees to build those homes. The nests of a few spotted owls were more important than the entire timber industry. Now that the feds have gone to ground, let's just say we've eliminated the middleman. No one can stop us from taking what's rightfully ours. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Thing is, Cope, fuel prices have actually come down lately. Way down. Only problem... Is you gotta find it yourself, and last I checked, there's plenty of assholes out here trying to take what's rightfully ours. Hey, Deke, I got a good one for you. Mike, hey, what's up? Ricky handed me a shopping list. He said it was for Bruiser. He said I should radio Okay, where's Ricky? Something came up. Anyway, she needs a galvanized metal pipe, too. The kind used in building. She needs a carbon alloy blade, the kind hunters use. And finally, some metal scrap. That list make any sense to you? Uh, yeah, Mike, like you said, I don't ask. <laughs> Deacon out. Okay, what do I need? I need a blade or a metal tube? Scrap? Ah, Jesus, Ricky. Metal tube, metal tube. It can't just be any metal tube, can it? 
Gotta find one from a construction site. Wait, 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 hold on a second. There was a house um, under construction at Marion Forks, but I can find something there. Boozer, you there? Andy, we just got off the road. We got this man on the line. He gets a shit. Jesus, goddamn schizo. into it. It takes time. Just don't get your hopes up. That's all I'm saying. Well.
that should be it. Here we go. Oh, that'll do it. Blade. Where am I gonna find a blade? Wait, 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 what was that? Sporting good store. I gotta finish burning out this infestation zone. There we go. Here it is. Now, I just gotta find a blade. Okay. Boozer, you up? This is Deke. Must be sleeping. Deke? That you? Shit. Sorry, man. I, I didn't mean to wake you. Brother, after working a shovel all day, I pretty much pass out as soon as I hit the bunk. What's going on? I'm just checking on you, brother. Just making sure that you didn't you know, wander off on another midnight dance with a horde. Hey, don't worry about me. From the sound of it, you're the one out on a joyride. Hey, I gotta get some shut-eye. Talk later. Out. Scrap. Infestation zone later. Are you ready to do some streaming?
Hey. Hey. I got those parts that you asked for. Oh, great. Well, uh, check back in a few. I'll see what I can do, yeah? Uh, Ricky. Thanks. Yeah. Boozer's one of us now. How's it going? Having a look. Is that okay? You go through a lot of this shit, yeah? Sure. All right. Later, Deke. Wait a sec, I got it. Hey Deke, you there? I've got Boozer's new prosthetic ready. I asked Addy to find him and send him over. Uh, great. Great, Ricky. I'll, I'll be right there. Deacon out. We got someone at the gate. Open the gate. I know him. Just right in the okay. crease there. Okay. Got it. Let me secure it in, okay? There you go. That's better. Okay. Hey, brother. Look what oh. Ricky did. What? Made me a new toy. Oh, I was all Deacon. <laughs> oh, that's he really, really that. cool, Boozer. Hey, uh, I could have been one of those, yeah. those three goddamn musketeers. Hungar, oh, you fucking right. ripper. <laughs> Pretty cool. Oh, hey. Jesus. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, uh, maybe this hey. wasn't that good of an idea? You yeah, made Damn it. Okay.
St. John, you there? It's O'Brien. Hold on. O'Brien, I'm sick of doing your dirty work. You got news for me or not? Yeah, I, I mean, yes, I have news. Well, then what is it? I need you to do one last job. Were you listening to what I was just saying? I'm done with one this. One more job, then I'll meet you in person, show you what I got. Forget it. Her middle name. It was Irene, right? Sarah, Irene, Whitaker. It's on her admission form. One last job. It's one last job. I sent you the coordinates. O'Brien out. Hey. Hey. You headed somewhere in a hurry? Yeah. You remember that Nero bastard I told you about, yeah. O'Brien? Well, it looks like he's got some news for me, but I gotta do one last job for him first. Yeah. Okay. You should come with me. Yeah? Nah, I... Skizzle's got me on farm duty. Feeding the world one shitty weed at a time. Fuck Skizzle, I'll drop you off right afterward. When's the last time you saw a helicopter? I'll tell him you twisted my arm. Never gets old, <laughs> does it? Where are we headed? Over toward Malakwa Lake. You know where that is? Yeah, it's just north of the Rogue Tunnel off uh, Waldo Road. So what are we doing there? The Nero Chopper's gonna be on the ground doing whatever the hell it is that they do. O'Brien wants me to see what they're up to. So, O'Brien, he's, uh, he's what? Your shot caller? Handler? No! Jesus, Boozer. You know why the hell we're out here. Just asking. Seems like he tells you to jump. You ask how high. It's not how it is. So how are you holding up? Not bad. Nah, it's been worse, you know. I actually don't mind working on the farm, pulling weeds and shit. Reminds me of when I was a kid. I used to go out to my uncle's farm out at uh, by Adrian, the Idaho border. I'd spend summers working the beet fields. Yeah, a little dirt bike I tooled around on. That's where I learned to ride. If you're not careful, I'm gonna start calling you. When we get to that site, stay close. Whatever happens, don't let them see you. They can get a little trigger happy. Okay, okay, got it. Stay down, keep my mouth shut, don't get us killed. Hey, thanks for bringing me along, Deke. It's good to get out again. Even riding bitch, you know? <laughs> yeah. Right behind you. Okay, I haven't let's heard get this done. Well. Yeah. There it is. Jesus. Never thought I'd see one of those again. In the air, I mean. All right, now watch. Soldiers come out. First, they secure the LZ. Then their boy genius, researcher, scientist, whatever the hell. He comes out, he looks around. Squad, Do check what? It. Science shit they're doing out here. How the hell would I know? Okay, wait here. You got it. I heard something.
So you can pick up friction. Precisely. <laughs> okay. Enough said. Field note 2102. After analysis of scat samples from zones 2, 3, and 4B, there is clear evidence of Claytonia perfoliata. What's that? Commonly known as miner's lettuce. Please don't interrupt. We got movement. As well as manicious berries from Juniperus communis. So, why do we care? Why do we care? Because it means the freaks are eating more than just us and each other. They're eating berries, plants, grass, needles, basically anything a deer would eat. They're omnivores, just like us, but with stomachs that can digest a much wider range of cellulose. Yeah, okay. And what? It means they're not gonna starve when they run out of us to eat. <laughs> the freaks aren't going away anytime soon. Shit, that's bad. Yeah, that's bad. I'm done here. Okay. Uh, head back to the bike. Catch any of that over my radio? That's pretty fucked up. Good taxpayer money and they're out here collecting freaker shit. Yeah, I told you. Who knows what they're doing or why? Oh, they gotta have a base around here somewhere, right? You try following them? Yeah, but they always disappear over the mountains heading south. And with the highway choked off, I can never get close. Sons of bitches. Seems like they got a lot to answer for. Yeah. Where are we headed now? It's a good question. O'Brien, are you there? Come in, O'Brien. I'm here. Finished? Yeah, it's done. Where am I meeting you? I wasn't expecting you so soon. I'm sending you the coordinates now, but it might take a few minutes to get there. O'Brien out. Jesus, what the hell does he think I've been doing out here? Hey, you're right about one thing. He does sound like an asshole. Wait here. I don't want him getting skittish because I brought someone along. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on the bike. I've seen enough Nero assholes for one day. Okay, I'll be back. O'Brien said he had news. He knew her middle name, Irene. She can't be alive. But he's alive. Why not her, huh? There he is. Yo. Shit. Gotta stop doing that. What you got? All right, look. I'm gonna lay it out for you, but it's not good news. I finally found a guy who was willing to do some digging through some files that, we, that they used to keep while they still kept records. Okay, no problem. Right. Anyway, uh, Sarah Whitaker, your wife, was in, admitted to the Camp Mash unit on the South Flats outside of Silver Lake. Uh, according to the records, she was in surgery for six hours and then was moved okay, to... So she uh, survived. The stab wound she survived. Yeah, yeah. According to the records, she made a full recovery. And then she was moved to another camp on the outskirts okay, of the Okay, so, so she could still be alive. Even after all this time, she could still be alive, you're saying? No. What do you mean, no? It was overrun. Everything was overrun. There were no survivors. 
you survived. They survived. Whoa, 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 but there was nothing that would have protected that camp, okay? Highway 97 w w w is an artery. Infected freaks poured up from LA, from the Bay Area, from Sacramento. There were thousands and thousands and thousands of them. There was, there was nothing we could do. I get it. So you bugged out. Who did you bring with you? Uh, Nero personnel. Some feds, people with clearance. Nero personnel, the soldiers, the guys with the guns, the guys who should have been protecting no, no, the there, civilians. There's nothing that you can do against the horde. Oh, They're no, too strong. I know all They're too about fast. hordes. I right. know that there was nothing that we could do. Oh, you know what you could have done? You could have brought a few of them with you. You could have saved a few lives. That there was no hope. There was no time. There was no room. Okay, that we'd already turned on each other by the time the hordes arrived. No, I get it. I'm sorry about your wife. I'm sorry about all of this. But you gotta understand, if you hadn't sent her with me that night, she would've been dead the next morning. You did the right thing. <laughs> You know, if you had decided to stay, the only thing that would have happened is you'd be dead right alongside her. Don't you think I know that? <sighs> O'Brien. Thank you for saving her life that night. So you're sorry. Is that it, O'Brien? You're sorry? Oh, damn it. All things a waste of my goddamn time. Oh, what the hell? Boozer? Boozer? Oh, god damn it, Booze, man. Where the hell did you go? Take a look around. What the hell is this? All right, where? Uh, this way. Deke, you still there? This is Ricky. Deacon St. John. Uh, yeah, Ricky, I'm here. What's up? Schizo's been asking for you. Said Boozer never showed up for his work duty. I, I was worried. No, look, we're fine. We just had some stuff that we needed to get done. Tell Schizo we'll be back in an hour. Okay. Hey, I'm almost ready to head back out there and fix that transformer. You still in? Uh, yeah. Yeah, just the... Great, let me know when. I can feel that hot water now. Gonna let that shower run forever. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's That sounds great. Listen... Ricky, I, I gotta go, all right? Deacon out. Deke, over here! Oh, Jesus, Boozer, what the hell? I figured I'd do a little shopping while we were out, and I ran into a pack of rippers hunting dogs. Oh, easy, fella. He's not infected. He's, he's just a dog. They're hunting down and killing healthy dogs. No, just no, we can't. We can't leave him here, Deke. Uh, we just we can't. We can't do it here. Here, let me. Uh, let me do it. Really? You. You can. Okay, boy. Okay, easy. It's okay. 
Just hold oh, Jesus, D. It's okay, just... That's it, now, Greg. It's okay, big guy. Rest. Are you ready? Oh, yeah, brother. I'm ready. more than you. Sounds disappointed. Well, I just I hate those sons of bitches, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, come on. Let's uh let's get the hell out of here. So what the hell happened back there? You seem sorta, of, I don't know, like uh like you lost it. Uh I don't know. I guess I just I needed some payback for this shit. But uh there's never gonna be enough payback, is there? You know? If you hadn't made this shift for me, you know, my arm, I mean, I don't know where I'd be. I mean, I guess I'd... Well, you know. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, not like I got a choice. Not like any of us do, right? Yeah, okay, come on. How'd it go? Oh, uh, what go? You know, goddamn what? Your guy in the space suit, what'd he say? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Hey, come on, goddamn it. <sighs> Boozer, you really don't want to be doing that right now. Oh, yeah? You think I need more than this to take down your scrawny little ass? Come on, what'd he say? Drop it. Seriously, what happened to Sarah? Huh? Where's your old lady, dude? Where's your old lady? Huh? <laughs> 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 Stay down, brother. Had enough? Where's your old lady, Deke? She's dead, Boozer. Sarah's dead. Yeah, and she's been dead a long time. So don't you think that you mourned her long enough? Oh, I think... I think that you have a hell of a left hook, asshole. Oh. Yeah, it's the only move I got. <laughs> Come on, man. I gotta get my sorry ass back to work. Camping gonna feed itself. It's the only move I got. Still, I tagged your ass with it three times in a row. Fucking <laughs> shameful. Where are we headed? Back to camp. No, no. I still gotta work a ship. Give me a ride up there. It's it's just north of Sherman's camp. Okay. That and there was nothing you or anyone could have done about it. I should have been there. And what good would that have done? Just drop it, it's done.
Schizo, you there? Lost Lake Camp, Schizo. Yeah, yeah, what's up? We just had a run in with. Hey, where the hell did you go? We skipped work duty today. What the hell, man? Would you, sh sh shut up and listen to me. I was giving him a ride to the work site, and we were attacked by rippers. Oh, Jesus. Where? Outside of Rogue Camp. You gotta tell Iron Mike. Carlos is coming, and he is not going to stop. What do you think I've been telling? For months. Yeah, I'll let him know. Red, work Tumalo now. Loser will be at the site in a few minutes. Well, that's great, because he owes the camp another half shift for the work he's missed. Shut up, Schizo. Hey, Dink. Uh, Rogue Camp is kind of in the opposite direction of Tumalo, isn't it? We took the scenic group out. Asshole. Goddamn Schizo. Come on, keep working. Keep at it. We don't work, we don't eat. That's it. Hey. Thanks for the ride. Someone needs help.
What the fuck? I saw someone. <laughs> You, you've each prepared your own valve? Well, uh, traditionally, the, the groom goes first. Uh. I'll, I'll go first. Deacon. I'm so sorry that no one came. I guess we really pissed off everyone. On both sides. I mean, not everyone. But I want you to know that that's how much you mean to me. That I would give up anything for you. Anything. <sighs> this ring is a symbol of my love. And it is precious. Has no beginning and no end. I love you. Shit, more of them. This ring is my promise that I'm always going to love you. And I ain't ever going to leave you. But you, you may kiss the bride. Oh, wait, wait a second. Here, you can have this one back, but only if you promise to ride me as much as you ride your bike. <laughs> well, I now pronounce you man and, well, wife. Okay, well, let me just go. Don't worry. 
is never gonna happen again. Who's man? You there? Yeah, Deke. What's up? You remember that little church? The one Sarah and I got married in? Well, I found a couple of assholes trashing the place. Wish I'd been there. I'd have helped you kill them all. Messing with Sarah's church. Shit. Yeah. Anyway, just checking in. Deacon out.